So we're, we had some really encouraging results for the fall season. We, uh, we had three big regattas that we went to, and then a fourth uh, where it, that was just for the freshmen, the Dartmouth Green Monster. So we competed at Head of the Charles, Foot of the Charles, and Princeton Chase. So Princeton Chase was really, uh, I know that was my favorite race, got to get off campus, um, go away. And we ended up placing above Navy. We were really competitive with Drexel, so schools that are like really top schools um, that have been our big rivals in the past, and we were right up there with them, which was really encouraging. So that's cool. Yeah, um, I would say the same. Princeton Chase is also my favorite race. It's uh, a huge regatta with a lot of collegiate teams um, that we'll see again in the spring. So it was a chance for us to show off how hard we'd work during the fall and also uh, get off campus uh, for the weekend. We, I ended up, Gian and I both ended up racing twice at Princeton Chase. So we raced in, in an eight and then in, again in the four. So that uh, was a real test of stamina. But the feeling when we finished that second race was amazing. So that was my favorite part was, uh, yeah, that was quite a, quite a test. Yeah. I think um, my favorite part is just uh, the fall is really a time to get to know people on the team better. We have mm -hmm. a lot of recruited freshmen um, and we also got a lot of, uh, walk-ons, uh, so freshman, sophomore, and even uh, a senior as walk-ons. So just getting to know the team better. Uh, we've done a lot of uh, inter, you know, in uh, team bonding um, to get to know people better, and uh, just seeing how much people improved from, you know, starting practice in September to once we get off the water at uh, foot after foot of the Charles is um, awesome to see. We were both walk-ons, so we, uh, it's been really cool to see, now that we're the sort of the leadership side of the team, and now that we're seniors, to see how far the walk-ons can come in, in one sort of semester season. It was, yeah. yeah, it's really awesome. So for me, being a team captain is uh, sort of putting the team first. It's not always uh, glamorous being the team captain, but it's so necessary, and there's a lot of like logistical things that you need to do, but it is incredibly rewarding. Uh, I love organizing things for the team. Uh, working with the coaches has been great. We have we now four coaches. We have our head coach coach, assistant coach, and then two volunteer, volunteer assistant coaches this year. And it's been great working with them. Holly and Hank are pretty incredible. And they've, uh, they work us really hard, but it's all very, yeah, I really enjoy doing it. Yeah. And I, I think for me, I like the ability to uh, kind of reinforce and uh, like keep moving with things that people like about the team. So mm -hmm. um, always being able to, to collect feedback from other people on the team and then bring that, that to the coaches. Um, and also along with that kind of changing things um, that we don't like or um, always like kind of finding ways to improve uh, the way the team operates, the way that we interact with other teams at the boathouse, how you know we uh, attack our training plan is always um, fun. And I think, you know, it, yeah, like Larkin said, it, often isn't glamorous, but it's kind of, uh, <laughs> it, it's um, really rewarding at the end of the day to yeah. kind of have like a top-down view of the entire team and see how all of the parts move. I guess it's, it adds a lot of structure to my day. I really enjoy that, especially with rowing and, and being in the morning. So every day I start my day with something that I love. And so if the rest of my day is terrible, which you know it might be I'm stressed about something, if, I, if practice went well and rowing went well, which it usually does, then I will feel like it's a good day. Um, it's, it's just such a nice way to start the day. And being out on the water, we're so lucky. I mean, to get to see the sunrise over Boston every morning is amazing. Yeah, I think, too, I always say that my day, you know, usually nothing's going to get tougher than, you know, a workout that we do, or if I can make it through that 6.30 to 8.30 a.m., you know, slot and finish the workout, um, yeah. the rest of the day is probably going to be okay. So I think it's definitely, my favorite part has been um, that, like, shift in attitude almost of um, how to handle mentally and physically tough situations, um, and that's definitely carried over to all of my schoolwork and uh jobs and extracurriculars and stuff like that. Yeah, this year Hank, uh, our assistant coach, he brought in a lot more volume to our training. So we yeah. do some like 90 minute workouts, which are incredibly intense. But if you, it's sort of like if you can get through that, you can get through anything. Yeah. And we, I really like that what it's how it's shaped my body and like being able to physically handle anything. Mm -hmm. So our main like championship regatta is the Patriot League. So that's sort of our sort of final goal. That's what we're going for. The Varsity 8 placed third last year and we got medals, but we want more this yeah. year. 
I think. Yeah. Um, we've set a team goal to win Patriot League this year, and I think the way that our training plan is structured and the way that we've performed over the course of the fall, I think we're well in shape to meet that goal. Um, in order to do that, we've also set some winter training goals, and that includes yep. uh, for some of the top rowers on the team to break some of our uh, inter internal team uh, or uh, records that we have. So yeah. um, just a lot of you know volume right now on the ERG to try to meet those goals.